This video is going to walk you through the steps of the factor label method, which is commonly used in math and science to convert units. I've outlined three steps to follow when doing unit conversions. The first is to write down what you know. The second is to multiply by the conversion ratio or conversion ratios if you're doing multi-step conversions. And third, always write your answer in significant figures. In this example, it asks us to convert 2.4 kilometers into meters. So the first step is to always write down what you know. In this example, we know 2.4 kilometers. And the second step asks us to multiply by the conversion ratio. In order to do that, my conversion ratio is going to be 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. And for the factor label method, what I'm going to do to get started is I am always going to begin by making a horizontal line, and that's going to separate the items or the terms in the numerator from the denominator. And every time I go ahead and multiply or divide by a term, I'm going to put a vertical line to separate those terms. Okay, let's look at the conversion ratio. 1,000 meters is in the numerator. One kilometer is in the denominator. So I'm going to write my units in first just to make sure they're in the right place. And I'm going to fill that in. 1,000 meters divided by one kilometer. Okay, the next step is to make sure my units in kilometers on top divided by kilometers on the denominator in the denominator will cancel. So I can do that, and now I can do my calculation. 2.4 times 1,000 is 2,400 meters. The third step is to write your answer in significant figures. We're going to look at 2.4 kilometers, what we were given in our question having two significant figures. And our final answer that we just wrote, the two and the four are significant, the trailing zeros are not. So that means our answer has two significant figures, and we can put a box around it.